Hi, my name is Krista Popwich, Kaiser Master Trainer and Fitness Professional. Today I'm really looking forward to our workout. We're going to combine cycling and finish off with some really good core and ab exercises. The goal is to get our heart rate up for the cardio portion. We're going to bring it down a little bit and then we're going to do some really isolated exercises to help strengthen through our midsection. All right, before we do that though, let's get warmed up on our bike. Keeping the body nice and long, really contracting through your abdominals, lifting up that pelvic floor off that saddle. Think about really good cycling technique. We want to keep that hip in line with the knee right down to the second toe. Resistance, we want to keep it at about a moderate to easy resistance as we're getting going. You'll notice that you have a computer on the front of your bike. This gives us some feedback and some information while we're riding. The top line is our RPM. So RPM stands for revolutions per minute. Today while we're riding, I want you to stay within a range of 60 to around 110 RPM. Right now you should be around 80, maybe into that 90, 95 range for your warm up. Keeping it nice and steady. The second line is our watts, and that's a measure of power. So that's going to calculate our resistance from our gears and the speed that we're riding at. Third line is heart rate, so if you have a polar heart rate strap, that's going to pick that information up. On the bottom left hand corner, you'll see your gears. We're going to work through gears one. You can go all the way up to 24, but again, depending on what your fitness level is and where you're starting, do what feels best for your body. All right, let's maintain this good positioning. Hands are in an overhand grip, or position one. This keeps you nice and tall. Really good for getting lots of oxygen in. Position two is around that hook or that bend in that handlebar. Position three is our extended position right here. And if you'd like to go a little further down, we go into what we call position four. This isn't always comfortable for everyone, so feel free just to stay in that extended position. All right, here we go. Let's add on one or two gears. Getting that heart rate up, getting ready for the ride ahead. Nice and smooth. Pedaling nice and strong. Good job. Excellent. Holding it right here. Take a quick peek at your computer screen. Notice what your cadence is. What is that RPM showing? Are you around that 80 to 95 range? Holding it steady. Nice. Good. Another five seconds right here. Then what I'd like you to do is add another gear. This time, let's bring up your cadence to around 100. Let's take it away right here. 30 seconds. Excellent. Driving those legs up, pushing forward through that pedal stroke, pulling up nice and strong. Excellent. Hold it there. Another 10 seconds. Feeling that faster cadence? Working with that. Nice and easy. Good. Now slow it down. Slow. Just a little bit. Bring down that tempo. We don't want to go too hard right in the beginning. We want to gradually increase heart rate, gradually increase breathing rate, getting the body prepared for more intense activity. Here we go. Next set. Picking it up. 30 seconds. Go. Again, if you like, as you're going, add another gear. Well done, keep going, keep going. Getting used to that feel. Nice and smooth, 15 seconds to go. Good, bring it home, bring it home. Five more seconds, here we go. Nicely done, slow it down just a little bit. One more set. Good, let's add on those gears. Slightly higher, there you are. Very nice, we're bringing it up again to 100 RPM. 30 seconds on my go. Last one, ready, and go. 30 seconds. Excellent. Drive those legs up, keep it nice and smooth. Hang on to it. Good, excellent, very nice. We've got less than 10 seconds right here. And very nice. Slow it down. Good. All right, so our first drill today is called a ladder drill. We're going to go equal work, so challenging, and then a recovery of the same duration of time. 
So equal work to equal recovery. But as we go, the work's gonna get a little bit longer. All right, bringing it in. Let's add one to two gears, one more set up. Hold it there. Ready for your first set? 30 seconds of work, 30 seconds of recovery. Ladder drill. Time on the clock starts right now. Here we go. 30 seconds. Pedaling strong. Now take a peek at your computer while you're pedaling. Check out that second number, your watts, that power output. Keep it there. Using your baseline of body weight as a good guideline. Not your birth weight. Hold it there. Five more seconds. And time. Excellent. Now you get that 30 seconds of recovery. You can bring it up nice and tall. Grab some water as you need it. So the next set, 45 seconds. So we've added 15 seconds on. Whew. Got a little more time on that recovery. So remember, it's got to feel challenging, all right? All right, hand position. If you like, add those gears. One or two, or stay where you were. Here we go, 45 seconds. Picking it up now. Excellent. You might want to shift slightly back in that saddle, lengthening out through those legs. 30 seconds to go. Very nice. What you put into it, you'll get out of it. Let's go. Very, very strong. Keep it up, you have 15 seconds. Check out those watts. What's your power output? Can you increase the power now for another 10 seconds? Go. So just bring up that cadence slightly. You can do it. Excellent, keep going. And time. Woo. Nice thing is, you get a nice long recovery. So during this recovery, I want you to think about your riding technique, your pedaling technique. We call it riding the square. So we're gonna think about pushing our foot forward, pulling down, pulling back, and then pulling back up. Riding the square. And then start to add that circular motion in there. So smoothing out that square. Good. Another 15 seconds before our last set. Now our last set, how long is it? One minute. Add intensity. We kept those gears where they were. Your choice. Right now, one more gear. Ready? Add it on now. Go. One minute. Not giving up. Keep it going. Excellent. Keep it up, keep it up, nice and strong. Go, go, go. 45 to go. Breathing. Imagine you're on that road, riding hard. Good. Excellent, keep it up, keep it up. 30 seconds on that clock. Let's do it, you're halfway there. You feeling your heart rate go up? You feel your breathing rate starting to increase. Keep it up. Nice job. 15 seconds right here. Almost there, almost there. Then you're back to recovery. There you go. Well done, well done. Whew, bring it up nice if you like. A little taller. Good. Now, as you're recovering, we're going to take it to just an easy climb. Hands come to that third position. Come on off the saddle. Right there. Excellent job. So, in this position, it's just a light climb. My hands are nice and light. Shoulder blades down. My seat and my saddle are connecting through that pedal stroke. Hold it there. 25 seconds to go. Well done. Fitness is just a journey. We're on that path for a long time. You gotta enjoy the ride. Here we go. Five seconds to go. I'm gonna let you sit down. And we're gonna go into 
our next drill. Well done. Bring it down. Now, I want you to drop down your resistance just slightly so you can feel it and it feels about somewhat hard. Somewhat hard. Now, slow down your cadence. Slow down those RPM. We're going to work in 15 second intervals of speed. So we're going to increase our cadence every 15 seconds. So let's slow it right down. 70 RPM. Got it there? Yeah? Hold it there. 70 RPM. Feeling the legs. If you can't feel the resistance, add some more resistance. Good. Five seconds to go. Now bring it up to 80 RPM. Right there. 80. We're not changing the gears. All we did is change our speed. Bring it up right there. Here we go. Very nice. Transitioning now. Again, this time, let's take it up to 90. Bring it up to 90. So you've gone from 70 to 80 to 90 RPM. Hold it there. Nice and steady. And again, this time, bring it up to 100. 100. Whoo, 15 seconds right here. Gear hasn't changed. Just our speed. Keep it up. Can you do one more set? I know you can. 105 RPM. Go. 105. Woo. Keep it going. Five more seconds. And time. Woo. Slow it right back down. Bring it back down to 70. We're going to do it one more time. This time, I want you to add one or two gears. Are you ready? Add one or two. First set, 70 RPM. Steady. Good, hold on. Hold on to it. So the only thing that's changing is what? RPM, you got it. All right, here we go. Bring it up to 80. Focus on that, check it out. Keep it nice and steady. Transition again. Coming up this time to 90. Woo. You didn't touch that gear, did you? No? Check out what happens with power. Power increases as well. Next set, 100. Ready and go, right here, 100. Woo. We have one more set after this, last one, I promise. Last one. 105. Right now, go. 105. Not faster than that. Keep it there. Nicely done. 10 seconds. You can do it. You know you can. Here we go. And time. Well done. Hold that gear. Add another couple. Get out of the saddle again. Here we go. Take it up. Up. Very well, come on. Hup. Intensity, right there. Keep it smooth. Little burst to the top. Ready, on my go. And now, go. Little tap to the top. Go, go, go. Uh oh. Come on, you can do it. The nice thing is, you get to go downhill. Lighten it up. Decrease that resistance. Bring your hands forward. Drop those elbows. Eyes on the road. Here we go. Fast and light. Take it all the way down. Good. You deserve that break. Take it down that hill. Can you feel that cool breeze? Yeah, I can. Here we go. Perfect. Are you up for one more? Yes? Good. Here we go. Resistance. Bring it up. Ready? Out of the saddle. Let's go. Up. Climbing. Same thing. When we get to the top, we're going to attack right to the peak. Right there. Take it up. Nice and strong. You're doing great. Keep going. Ten seconds. Then you're ready for that attack. Good. And now, pick it up, go. 
Pick it up. Right, right, right. Good job. You've got 10 more seconds, less than that. Eyes on that road. Hands are light. Abs are engaged. Good. And now sit it down. Lengthen it out long. Lighten it up. Let's take it down, down. Good. Beautiful. All the way down that hill. Now, you can spin down that hill or you can actually ride it. Have some resistance. I like to ride it all the way down. 20 seconds to go. When we hit the bottom, it's a full out time trial. You've got a couple minutes. Highest power you can sustain at the lowest heart rate, greatest intensity. Here we are. Are you ready? This is it, let's go. Pick it up, add gears, two, three, right there. 90 seconds right here, come on. Full out. Now normally a time trial would be a lot longer. We're just doing a short one right here to get that idea of increasing intensity. One minute to go, let's go. One minute. And I promise we'll cool it down before we go down and start to work a little bit more on our abs and our core. Our core is still activated even while we're riding. Anything we do, we want to keep that core activated. Keep it up. Keep going, 10 seconds. Check it out. Where's that power? Good. Nicely done. And ease it up. Good. Whoo, lighten it up. I definitely need that towel and a little bit of water. How about you? Grab some water. Nice and even. Hands in. Bringing that heart rate down. Let's just focus on your right leg right now. Doing the work. Think about that right leg. Really active all the way through that pedal stroke. Switch the focus. Left leg. Good. Keep it there. Now, even it out. Smooth it out. Well done. Bring the hands a little higher. Shoulder blades down. Taking yourself right back up. Hands on your hips. Shoulder blades back and down. Getting ready to transition to our abs. Nicely done. Take the shoulders, just roll them back. Take a deep breath all the way up. And exhale. One more time. And release it. Great job on the cardio, what a really great workout. And now we're gonna focus on some ab training, core training. I still have my cycling shoes on. You can take off your shoes, go bare feet, put on a pair of running shoes, whatever feels most comfortable for you. So for the first exercise, what I'd like you to do is come on down to your mat and just tuck your legs in nice and close. We're gonna use a little bit of the arm to help us up to get started. And we're gonna just press up and then take it down. Here we go, so it goes up for two and then lower down for two, focusing on good technique and they're really not trying to use the arms so much, but focusing on the oblique. Here we go. Take it up and down for two. Couple more. Lift up. Lower. Very nice. Now next time, let's add a little bit more. So bring it up. Lift the legs up. Down. Take it up. Good. Nice. Two more. Up. And take a break. Lower it down. Let's do that again. So it comes up for two, lift up, up, let's do two more sets, two, good, and one, and drop it down. Last time, bring it up, hold it, lift the leg, take it up, drop, lift, two more, really focusing on good technique, and release it. Excellent. 
Now coming on to our elbow, I'm just going to shift myself out a little further, lengthening out nice and long through the body. Press through the shoulder and let's lift up those hips. If this is too intense, you can stagger the feet. So you're going to stack those legs, extend that arm up nice and long, holding it there. Now drop that hand down, reach through, then come back up. Let's do that again. Reach through and lift. Well done. Let's do one more. Bring it all the way up and just hold it there. Now drop that hip. Drop down, push up, down, up. Four more. Three. Good. Very nice. Two. And one. Bring that hand down. Let's transition into what we call the plank position. So the elbows on the floor, forearms down, line up that shoulder with the elbow. Hands in front, tuck those toes under, and then lift up, engaging through the abs. This is something that you can work on on a regular basis, gradually increasing the amount of time that you're able to hold this plank position. Make sure you're not holding your breath. The modification is to bring those knees down. So that's always a good option to get started. Let's lift it up and hold it right here. Another 10 seconds. Hips are down, shoulder blades are back. Good alignment through the spine. Woo. Excellent. Drop those knees down. Give yourself a little stretch, pushing it all the way back. Good. And come on up. Let's switch it around to the other side. We're going to repeat that set. Good alignment. Draw those knees in. Arms extended, head behind the head. Lift it up for two, up for two, and down. Nice and strong. Remembering that we can't spot reduce and really want to think about just working on good stability and strength. Very nice, one more time. Take it up. Now, this time, bring it up and hold it. Take it up, now lift those legs. Four, and three, two more, two, and one, and bring it down. Here we go again. Bring it up and lift. One, two, and one more, and drop it down. Last time, here we go. Bring it up and hold, lift. Two more, and last one, and release it. Good. Very nice, extending long. Let's switch into that side plank position. Remember your option, either scissor the legs or have them stacked on top of each other. Good alignment through that shoulder, pushing the hips up, holding it up nice and long, and reach it through. Take it in, two, and up, lift. All the way through, and again. Extend long. One more time. You're doing great. Hold it there. For a little more intensity, you could drop that hip. Down, push it up, down. Good, two more. And one more. Woo. Well done. Let's go back to the plank on the other side. Facing the other direction, elbows are under. This time, tucking up, holding it right here. We're gonna push up the arm to the hand, and then lower down. Hold it there. Are you ready to try with me? Here we go. So it goes right, left, lower, and again. Up. Let's try the other hand lead. Push. Up. Good. One more. Up. Nice. Hold it there. Contract those abs. Nice and long through the spine. Excellent. Ten more seconds. Remember the option is to drop down to your knees. Five seconds. And release it. Well done. Quick stretch into that child's pose. And very nice. Come on over into a seated position. So the legs just come slightly in front. Hands are behind the thighs. And just roll it down just a little way. Roll it back and pull it up. Good. Just getting that spine to move a little bit at a time. Thinking about rolling and lifting. Bring it down. Now just hold it here. Extend the arms out. 
bring the hands to one side. Imagine you have a medicine ball or a weight and you're holding that dumbbell. Bring it here, bring it center, then bring it to the other side. Bring it center. Now, just start to pick it up. Side, side, side. Good. Rotating from one side to the other. Look slightly behind you to activate more through your obliques. Four to go. Your body. Your body. Two more. Your body. Your body. Last one. And take a break. Well done. All right, rolling it down, bringing those hands right to the sides. Now, what I'd like you to do is lift one foot and then the other. Stabilizing, let's drop the toe down. The toe comes down, then lifts up. Take it down. Now, ideally, just have your head back, looking towards the ceiling, keeping that head in line with the spine. Good, here we go. So it's down for two, and then up. Take it down, and lift. Down, and up. We have two more of these. And one, holding it there. Now, take the legs just a little wider, hands behind the head, draw the knees in, and push down. Draw it in. Good, think about activating through the rectus abdominis. Up for two, and down. Here we go, take it up, and down. Nice, lift, you have two to go. Two more, one to go. And drop the feet down. Hands behind the head. Just lift up. Contract and hold. Isometrically, those muscles are working right there. Now, a little crunch. Basic crunch up. Release. Lift. Exhale. Beautiful. Lift. You don't need to do a lot of these, but it's good to add a few into your ab and core set. Four more. Four. Two more. Two. And one. Good job. Hold it there. Bringing that leg up. Just use that to help yourself all the way up into a seating position. Good job. Whew. All right. Let's just stretch it out a little bit. Sitting up nice and tall. Body's nice and long. Taking one hand to the outside of the leg. Place that hand behind and extend up long through the spine. Looking over the shoulder. Take it to the other side. So planting that hand behind, lifting up and then rotating all the way to one side. Ideally you want to hold those stretches about 20 seconds, longer if you have more time, until you feel it release and then you can go a little deeper into that stretch. Bringing it center, lower yourself all the way down, extending one leg all the way up to the ceiling, stretching through the hamstring. Hands are just behind, draw that toe down, thinking about lengthening all the way through the insertion to the origin of that muscle. Crossing that leg over, bringing that bottom knee in, getting a little more stretch through the glutes. other side. So having a really balanced program means you have cardio, you have some strength, and also some flexibility training. Draw that toe down, push that heel up. Release it, draw that leg across, taking your hands in. Drop the toe down, relax the upper body. Getting rid of any tension in the upper body. Place it down, drawing the knee in. Use that to help yourself up or just place the hands on the floor. Come on back into that upright seated position. Extending the arm all the way up nice and long. Feeling the stretch through the side. And release. Other side, bring it all the way up. And center. 
I've so enjoyed working out with you today. Thanks so much for joining me.